Welcome to Serious Data Solutions, I'm Malcolm Chisholm. Today, we'll be looking at how similar or different data privacy and data security are. It's important right now because there's a lot of focus on both of these areas and we need to know how one fits with the other. If we can start by thinking about just security and privacy in general, then it's possible to think about situations where we can have a lot of security, maybe provided absolutely free to us, but not much privacy. And conversely, we can find situations where we may pay a lot for privacy, but have rather little security. So prima facie, it seems that they might be different things. Um, I'm not saying that security and privacy are traded off one for the other, that if you always have a lot of security, you have little privacy, and if you always have a little privacy, you have a lot of security. But it might be the case that they are different things. Now, let's go to data privacy and data security. Well, data security has been around, at least traditionally, for quite a while. And it's typically concerned with confidentiality, integrity, and availability. So confidentiality might be implemented in part by access controls. Integrity in part by preventing malicious alterations of data. And availability in part by dealing with possible hardware failures. Also, Data security is concerned, perhaps uh, within this framework of confidentiality, integrity, and availability, it's concerned with things like theft, loss, unintended destruction of data, uh, intrusion detection, uh, physical security as well even. Um, but suppose that somebody has legitimate access to data and respects all of the uh, tenets of confidentiality, integrity, and availability. If somebody has legitimate access to data and data security is happy, can they do anything they want with it? Well, when it comes to uh, personal information, that is not the case. And this is where data privacy comes in. Uh, you can't just do anything in terms of using or processing the data, uh, even if there's no problem with data security. So what is data privacy? Well, our definition of data privacy is keeping the obligations the enterprise has and the promises it makes about the way in which it uses data. It's a broad definition. It covers more than personal information. It will cover also licensed data, licensed data being data that's subject to contracts. Maybe it's been purchased from data vendors. But we'll discuss that another day because at the present moment, personal information is what data privacy is most concerned about. And data privacy really does focus on usage and processing of data. So if we compare data privacy and data security in a bit more detail, it's possible to see how they differ. So let's take a look at that. So data security will be concerned with access controls, intrusion detection, loss prevention, security risk assessments, physical security, and disaster recovery and business continuity. In terms of data privacy, we have, again, the permitted use processing of data, governing the sale of data, governing disclosure of data, of personal information, at least to third parties, cross-border data movement, notice to data subjects, consent management, data subject access requests. That's where somebody requests the enterprise does something with their data, like delete it or provide them with a copy of it. Privacy impact assessments, privacy by design, and data ethics. There are also some areas where both data security and data privacy have shared concerns, but even within those, I think they have rather different roles to play. Uh, breach detection and response, uh, retention, encryption, and pseudonymization would be examples. So, 
I think that that's a reasonable comparison and shows that there are genuine differences between data privacy and data security. I would also say that data security is a little bit more on the technical side and data privacy is a little bit more oriented to the business, but that's not a hard and fast rule. There's technology that applies to data privacy as well. Um, but for now, that's our comparison. I hope that you found it useful. And if you did, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment below. I'll put a link to the blog post that goes with this video and the shareable slides. And until our next serious data solution, it's goodbye from me.